Hi everyone and welcome to another video on my channel. So, in today's video I can finally show you the process of creating a gift for one of my closest friends. We haven't known each other long, but she has already proved to me more than once that I can always rely on her. I hope my friend also knows that she can depend on me. Love you, sweetie cutie patootie. For the past year, I have been giving my friends handmade painting gifts on wood. For Avis, I painted her OC on a lockable wooden box, for Marlena an open box in her favorite color purple with flowers, and now I am painting a portrait of Jela on a wooden panel that resembles a canvas. I take great pleasure in painting over wood and the gouache paints make everything look perfect and pristine. So, do you know an artist like Candy Kiki? I'm so happy to have been introduced to the possibilities of gouache paints thanks to her. Her beautiful artworks have inspired me to try these paints out for myself. Now acrylic gouaches are my favorite medium and I paint with them all the time. I'm also starting to fall more and more in love with Himimiya water-based gouaches. What's more, I've now had the opportunity to test an acrylic marker set from Artex who offered me my first ever collaboration. I can't wait to show you what we've been up to together on my channel in a fortnight's time. I've been having so much fun creating with them and I'm so excited to tell you all about these amazing acrylic markers. They are by far the best I've come across and I know I will be using them often so they won't get dusty on the shelf. The sun always comes out after the rain and it's always a beautiful sight. I have to say that leaving my job was not one of the easiest decisions I have had to make in my life, but the good news was that the next day I was offered an art collaboration and my channel started to grow rapidly. I'm happy to say that I'm slowly getting back to my usual weight, which I was before I started taking medication. I was a bit puffy and my appetite was out of control. I also started to spend more time out of the house and got to know my friends again, who I'd known since middle school. Something else has happened to me and I'm feeling really happy about it, but I just need to push it out of my mind for now so that I don't suffer when it's over again, you know. But I really hope this time it won't end. I really, truly believe that everything will be just fine. Everything's looking great and it's so different from how it was before. I feel like I'm floating 2 meters above the ground, I don't feel any pain and I don't even need to take painkillers as often. I really hope it lasts forever. Dear God, please. I have a lovely friend whom I'm painting a gift for today. We've known each other for years through my ex-friend, but that was a very long time ago and we never kept in touch except for a few events or parties together. It's only been about a year now that we've been seeing each other all the time. 
She works with my other friend, so I've had the chance to get to know her better. I'm really happy about that. It's only when I hit 25 that I can truly appreciate and experience the wonderful feeling of having true genuine friends. I regret being stuck in toxic friendships for so many years. Especially since I had the chance to make up with my current friends much earlier, but I was just too scared to do so. Initially, I wanted to draw a portrait of my friend in a realistic style, but it proved problematic to find a good quality photo of her I didn't want to ask her personally to send a better photo because I wanted it to be a surprise. In the end, I did a manga style portrait based on that photo she had on Instagram. Can you see the similarities? My friend was delighted with this gift. Do you like such handmade gifts? Do you appreciate them? Let me know in the comments. As for me, I love making and getting such gifts at the same time. It always makes me very happy when I know that someone must have taken some of their time to make me such a gift. I love these kinds of gifts much more than some both things. I feel more sentimental about them and I enjoy them more because you can see by it that someone cares about me, you know. For my last birthday, I received a custom denim jacket from Avis on which she painted some designs related to the K-pop band Dreamcatcher. It was based on one of the photo books uh, released by the band and just look at how beautiful it is. I also leave you with the name of Avi's Instagram where you can see more photos. I just wanted to say a big thank you to all of you lovely people who are my subscribers. I've been so lucky to receive so much support, love and kind words from you all. Thanks to you, I can continue to grow and make my dreams come true. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be there. You make me want to and will create more and more. Thank you for being here with me. I'm so happy to say that we are already approaching 500 subscribers. I'm really happy to have reached this milestone, but I feel like it's a bit too soon to be expecting this kind of growth. I've only recently started creating content here, so I'm still getting to know the community and building up my own content. I would love to know if you all stick around for longer. I promise you won't be disappointed with me. I'm wondering if I should by chance go to an ophthalmologist and optometrist. It's been a very long time since I've had my eyesight checked and I feel like I've been putting my head closer and closer to the sheet of the paper as time goes by because I can't see anything. The results are that you can often see my head in the frame. That would be it for today's video. Let me know in the comments if you liked it and if you watched to the end. 
I will also be very pleased if you leave a like under this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon, bye!